by going to the Start menu and clicking on Devices and Printers. Next, right-click on your printer and then select Printing Preferences from the menu. Then, go to the Utility tab and click on the Maintenance button. Next, go to the Accounting tab and click on the Accounting button. In the Image Prograph Status Monitor Accounting Manager window, go to Settings, and then select Units and Display. In the Units and Display menu, make sure that the ink level is set to milliliter. Paper width and paper length is set to inches, and area display format is set to square foot. Then, click OK. Next, go to Settings again. This time, select Unit Costs. On the Ink tab, check the box for Use Same Price for All Ink. Then, enter the tank capacity and price for your ink. Next, on the Paper tab, select the Media Type. For the width and length, I recommend entering 12 for both, since that is one square foot. For price, enter the square foot price for the media, and then click Add, and then OK. Although I didn't add additional costs to this media type, on the other tab, you have the option of building in other costs like labor or waste by entering the name and unit cost for those items prior to clicking the Add button. Back in the main image program Status Monitor Accounting Manager window, you can view the amount of paper consumed, ink consumed, and print time for a particular job in addition to the total cost. This data can also be exported and opened in Microsoft Excel to track long-term costs associated with your printing.